Merry Christmas Eve. Can we say that? Merry Christmas Eve. Let's not forget that Christmas is all about who? It's all about Jesus. Let's not forget that Christmas, yes, a part of it is, yes, we get vacation and holidays and all of that. But most importantly, the reason why Christmas exists is because Christ came to this earth to save us all. Right? And because of him, we are saved by his grace. Amen? Amen. So let's celebrate him today, shall we? Let's celebrate him even more. Let's be more joyful at this time as we start the service. Let's close our eyes. And would you repeat this prayer after me? Let's repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful Sunday. We're so excited and joyful to celebrate your birth. To celebrate the day when you have become the light of the world and the hope of our lives. Help us to praise your name and understand that this is not just the worship but this is a time for us to open our hearts and to give all that we have to you. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. And people of God says, amen. amen. Let's stand up at this time. All right, so as you guys know, Christmas is tomorrow, but I would like to sing these songs together, special songs today, so we can celebrate and remember the beautiful and the great things and the great news that we got to hear because he's here. All right, let's sing the first song together. Let's worship him.
the time. Amen. This morning, amen.
about the person next to you. Jesus is the light of the world. Tell the, the other side, Jesus is the light of the world. Amen, amen. Let's go with this song together. showing us how deep, how high, how wide, and how long is your love for us. Be with us as we continue to worship your name. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, let's have our offerings ready. Have our offerings ready. Worship to our God. Let's sing it.
to prayer, God, as we close our eyes once again and give our hearts to Him. Just see some friends opening their eyes. Close their eyes. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you so much as we declare your, our love to you, God. Would you use this offering to glorify your kingdom, to bless your name, and to bless this ministry in a way that we may provide the ones in need and in a way where we can understand what it means to truly offer our hearts to you god lord let us understand that this time of offering is not just something we just give but it is something that we can we should try to understand because you have given us everything to us god lord we just want to say thank you and that we love you so much lord we pray for pastor victoria as she preaches your word and help us to understand deeply about your word and more than anything, help us to fall in love deeply and help us to truly grow spiritually and help us to be more closer to you, God. We just want to thank you and be with us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. After Jesus had been raised from the dead, he met with his disciples over the next 40 days. During that time, Jesus told them even more about God's kingdom. Jesus told his 11 disciples to go to a mountain in Galilee, so they did. They saw Jesus there and they worshiped him. But some of the disciples still doubted. Was this really Jesus? Yes. Jesus went up to them and said, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Jesus is God the Son. He always had authority, but after Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead, God gave him all authority in heaven and on earth. Jesus is the king over all creation, and he rules over God's kingdom. Jesus gave the disciples and everyone who follows him a job to do. He said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Make disciples of people from every nation. A disciple is a follower. Jesus wants his followers to tell people all over the world how to be rescued from sin and death by trusting in Jesus' death and resurrection. Then those people who believe become disciples of Jesus too. Jesus also said, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. New disciples are cleansed from sin by Jesus' blood. When believers are baptized, they show the world that they have turned away from sin and trusted in Jesus as their Savior. Jesus continued, teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. Disciples who love Jesus will want to obey him. Then Jesus said, remember this, I am always with you until the very end of the age. Jesus came to earth as a baby, lived a perfect life, and died on the cross for our sins. He rose from the dead and invites us into God's family forever. God wants us to know him and to tell others about him too. Good morning, Disciple Anne. Let's all stand up and look at our neighbors and say, good morning, Merry Christmas. Welcome to Disciple and Sunday service. It's so good to see you guys. Right now, we're going to take out our Bibles. If you do not have your Bibles, we have some Bibles you can borrow in the back. But I hope you brought your Bible. Show me your Bible if you brought it. All right. All right. Good, good, good. Merry Christmas. Let's all turn to the passage for today. It's Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Matthew chapter 28. Matthew 28 is the last chapter of Matthew, so we're going to be reading Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20. Please stand up if you're there. Raise your hand if you need help. Our fourth and fifth graders and teachers will help you. David, teacher, can you help our new student? Right here. 
Stand up if you are there and raise your hand if you need help. 도움 필요하면 손 들어주세요. First and second graders, if you need help finding it, raise your hand, raise your hand. Fourth and fifth graders, we got some students raising their hands right here. We need some help. Raise your hand if you need help. Raise your hand if you need help. Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20. My Bible, it's page 1025 and 1026. What page is it on your Bible, Austin? What, one, one more time? 835, right? 835 if you have the yellow Bible. Hey, blue Bible people, what's the page number? 936? 926 if you have the blue Bible. It is 835 if you have the yellow Bible. And if you have this Bible, you have 1025, 1025. Our passage for today for our Christmas Eve Sunday service is Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20. Repeat after me. Matthew 28, 16 to 20. It means I'm going to be reading the even verses and you'll be reading the because you guys are odd. <laughs> Let's read Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20. I'll be reading the even verses. You will be reading the odd verses. And we'll meet at verse 20 and read verse 20 together. I'm waiting for everyone to stand up so that I can start reading together. Please stand up if you're there. 찾았으면 일어나 주세요. 같이 읽을 거예요. We got some great Korean speakers here, right? Who understood me here just now? Awesome, awesome. You can put your hands down. We'll be reading Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20. And this is absolutely the word of God. Let's read it together. Now the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountains to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let's read 20 together. One, two, three. Teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful and grateful for this day where we get to gather together, worship you, and celebrate and remember the coming of Jesus Christ to this world. Father, we thank you so much for this gift of the gospel. May we not just keep it to ourselves, but would you use us to share this good news to our loved ones around us. In order to do that, Father, would you show us and may we grow more intimate with you so that us knowing you can be another evidence that we can share this with other people. Father, we want to know you more, be closer to you, and draw closer to you every single day. Father, may we abide in your word, may we cherish your word, and grow deeper and deeper in your word. Would you open our eyes to see what you show us? Would you open our ears to hear what you say to us? And would you transform our hearts today with your word and Holy Spirit alone. May we see the works of your mighty hands in our lives, in our family, in our friends' lives. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's all sit down. 앉아주세요. Guys, I feel like I need to speak more Korean today because we got some friends from Korea. So if I speak some Korean, you guys will understand me, right? 한국말 알아들어요? 한국말 할수 있으면 네 해주세요. 시작. Okay, say yes if you understand English. Okay, do you guys want me to just preach the whole thing in Korean? Guys, uh, unfortunately, I prepared today's sermon in English, but I'm thinking maybe one day I can just do full Korean and see how it goes. Okay. One, two, eyes on me. Don't say it out loud, but raise your hand if you know what we talked about last week. 
저번 주에 무슨 얘기 했는지 기억나면 손 들어 주세요. Raise your hand if you remember. Well, if it's your first time here, 어제 저번 주에 안온 친구 모르겠죠. Hannah, what did we talk about last week? We talked about Peter. Can everyone say Peter? We talked about Peter and Peter was given something from Jesus. Luke permission to feed his sheep. Do you remember that story when Jesus came to Peter and said, "Peter, do you love me?" And what did Peter say? Yeah, yeah I like you. I love you. as a friend as a brother and jesus said one more time said peter do you love me i said yeah jesus you know it i love you i like you as a brother i like you as a friend and the third time jesus asked peter do you love me this time jesus came to peter with the word that he used do you like me as a friend yeah you said all these huge things like god jesus i'll die for you i'll do anything for you But it turns out it was not true. When Jesus was arrested and crucified, what did Peter do? Peter denied Jesus. How many times? Three times. So we learned last week that when Jesus came back to Peter after he resurrected, Jesus came to Peter. Did he come to like complain to him how he was not a good friend? Did Jesus come to Peter and say, "Peter, you denied me three times. You're not a good friend. I don't like you anymore. Bye." Is that what Jesus did? No. no. We learned about the word forgiveness. That Jesus came to Peter to forgive Peter. But this time it's like, "I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgive you." It was not the forgiveness that we've learned growing up, but it was a different kind of forgiveness. Jesus came to Peter. Jesus met Peter at where he was. even where his heart was you might not love me this much you might like me this much but i'd rather you come to me with what you have not saying all these bubbly things like i will do anything for you but be truthful be honest and that's where jesus met peter and peter was forgiven so brothers and sisters we had this long journey of life of jesus do you guys remember Do you, what, what's, what's the first story you remember? I think some of you guys might remember when Jesus came to Peter and called him to be a disciple. Jesus had dinner with his friends. Jesus was praying in the garden because he knew he was about to die. And he was crucified. He was arrested and crucified. And he died. And after Jesus died, what happened? Was that the end of the story? No. No. That's where the story, real, true story begins. Jesus died. Did he actually die or was he just like dead for three seconds and he kept, got up? He was dead for how many days? Three. For three days. He was completely dead and he came back to life. What did Jesus do after he resurrected? Did he just go back to heaven and say, bye, I'm going home? He stayed with his people for 40 days. For how many days? So today, brothers and sisters, is the last day Jesus spends with his friends before he goes back to heaven. And today, Jesus leaves something amazing. He gives a mission. He gives a mission to his friends that now that he came back from life, now that the disciples know that Jesus Christ is not only a good leader, a good speaker, but he is the priest, he is the prophet, and he is the king. Jesus is fully God and fully man. Brothers and sisters, before I dive into today's passage, I have a question for us. Do you have a friend? Yeah. Let me ask that again. <laughs> 친구 있어요? <laughs> 친구 있, raise your hand if you have a friend. <laughs> okay, okay. If you're not raising your hand, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can put your hand down. 친구 있는 사람 손. Raise your hand if you have two friends. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have three friends. Raise your hand if you have five friends. Raise your hand if you have 100 friends. Okay, okay. And let's just raise your hand. <laughs> raise your hand if you have 500 friends. Wow. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Uh, do you guys know what Facebook is? <laughs> I hope you do because I can't go more than that. So Facebook is a social media. Do you guys have... Do you know what Instagram is? 
Oh, you do? Do you know what Facebook is? Facebook is not Facebook. It's on the phone, and you go in there, and you make friends with people. So I looked at my Facebook, and I have, like, thousands of friends. I have, like, more than 1,000 friends. Do you think Pastor Victoria is close to every single friend on Facebook? No, no. I'm friends with, I'm on Facebook, it says, Victoria, you have more than 1,000 friends. But when I look at them, there's some people I never met. There's some people I met only once in my life. Would I call them my friend? <sighs> Let me tell you about one of my friends. I, I scrolled down Facebook and I looked at a random name. I don't even know how to pronounce their name, but I'm friends with them. I went in. I realized I saw them once in my life. I don't even remember how they look like or what their voice sounds like. But Facebook says I'm their friend. Is this a true friend or not a real friend? <laughs> but I, also, I kept scrolling and I, kept, I went down to alphabet S and there's a friend that I really, really love and I really, really know her very well. Let me tell you about my friend. I have a friend named Song. Her name is S-O-N-G, like the song we sing. And this friend, I love her so much. We went to college together in Chicago. And can I tell you about my friend? She grew up in India, but she's from South Korea. She has a very dark skin because she grew up playing soccer. She's so good at sports. And she has a weird accent. Her English is not like an American accent, but it's like a mix of British and Indian accent. So when she, whenever she talks to me, she... She uses a lot of accents, and I can tell that it's her voice. When I hear a voice, I can tell that it's her. My friend Song loves airplanes. Who likes airplanes here? She loves airplanes so much that she studied to be a pilot. She knows how to fly an airplane. She's so cool. Isn't that cool? Wouldn't you want to fly an airplane someday? <laughs> and my friend Song, she lives in a city called Shh. My friend Song lives in the city called Seattle. Do you guys know where Seattle is? Are you from Seattle? Have you been to Seattle? Yeah, and can I tell you one thing that she did last week? Do you, I, I don't know if you guys know, but last week was my birthday. And I woke up on my birthday, and I, I saw my phone. It was ringing. like It was ringing, and it said Song Kim. So I answered the phone, and it was my friend Song. How do I know? Because it says her name. And I, when I answered it, I knew because I know her voice. I know my friend, and my friend knows me very, very well. So she called me. She woke me up with the phone call, and she said, Happy birthday to you. She started singing for me. And she kept singing and, and said, Hey, Poop. She calls me Poop, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I call her Tong, and she calls me Poop. <laughs> so I said, good morning, Tong. And she's like, happy birthday, Poop. <laughs> she doesn't call me by my name, but she calls me by my nickname. She gave me. I don't like it, but that's fine. She's my friend. I know her very well. I know what she likes. Song likes coffee. Song likes airplanes. Song likes soccer. She loves eating food and cooking food. Song loves cars. I know my friend, and my friend knows me. When she called me, she was like, Victoria, what do you want for, my, for your birthday? And I told her, oh, I don't need anything. But she's like, I'll get you something. I'll get you something. She knows that I love showing love. And I realized that as I was scrolling down my Facebook, there is someone I don't even know how to pronounce the name, but there is this friend Name Song, I know her, she knows me, we're really, really close friends. Do you have a friend that you're really, really close and you know what your friend loves and your friend knows what you love? Do you have a friend who you can tell it's their voice and they can tell your voice when you pick up the phone? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, now coming back to Christmas, what is Christmas about? <laughs> okay, I prepared this slide, but I guess it's meaningless. So, is Christmas about getting gifts? Yeah. Is Christmas about celebrating time with family and friends? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Good, good. We can put the picture down. Some of you guys might say, yay, it's 
it's Christmas, winter break, I don't have to go to school, I don't have to do my homework, I can just do whatever I want, I can go to Legoland with my family, or I can just stay home and drink my hot cocoa next to my Christmas tree and Christmas gifts. Brothers and sisters, what is Christmas about? As you guys answered, let's have the picture here. Christmas is about... Christmas is about Jesus. It's not just about Jesus, but Christmas is a special day we celebrate and remember birth of Jesus Christ. When our God, G our God, Son of God, Jesus Christ was born into this world, into this world. So can we have the picture of baby Jesus up? So when you think of Christmas, I want you to remember, it's the day we remember and celebrate baby Jesus. Can you guys repeat after me? Baby Jesus. Okay, we can put the picture away. Why did Jesus come to this world? Why did Jesus come to this earth? Jesus, 예수님은, came to this world so that he can be our friends, so that he can know us and we can know him. Jesus came to this world because he wants to grow a relationship with you guys. Jesus came to be our friends. Jesus came to be our savior. Why do we celebrate Christmas? Christmas is the day we remember Jesus coming as a baby boy. Why did Jesus come as a baby boy, not as a superhero? wearing a cape, dun, 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 I'm coming from heaven to earth to save all of you guys. I'm your savior. Why did Jesus come? Can we have the picture one more time? As a baby Jesus, all baby knows is how to cry. Yeah. How does baby cry? Yeah. Yeah. Let's put the picture away. Why did Jesus come as an infant baby boy? The weakest, the most, the smallest, the most humble state of a human. Why did not Jesus come as a fully grown man with his muscles, with his power, and with his sharp eyes looking at everyone and say, I'm your God, worship me. Why did Jesus come as a baby boy? Brothers and sisters, Jesus came as a baby boy not to live on this earth, as a king, but to show us what a true king is like, a humble king who came not only to be successful in this world, but came with a special mission. Jesus came because he, he, he wanted to fulfill a promise, a promise that God gave his people. Do you know who Jesus is? Do you know? know who Jesus Christ is? Do you know the story of Christmas? So I'm not going to talk about the story of Christmas, but today I want to talk about knowing God, knowing Jesus, and how we can let other people know about Jesus as well. And that is the mission Jesus gave us. All right, so I know so much about song, my friend what she loves, what she does, what she did, and what she will do. Do you know who God is as your friend? 하나님이, 예수님이 누군지 잘 알아요? Do you know who Jesus is? Who is God? Is God just a, someone in heaven who has nothing to do with us, who is so powerful and has nothing to do with us, doesn't care about us? Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, who God is. And I hope and pray that this is true for you. Do you know God? God created the heavens and the earth. When God created, he created everything that we see outside, the nature, the sky, ocean, birds, animals. What else did God create? God created us. When he created human, he said, that we're very good. He saw men and women and said it was very good. It was a very good creation. 
And he wanted to be friends with Adam and Eve. He wanted to be with friends with his creature that he really, really loves and sees them as very special. I love you. But what, what happened? People sinned, and now they were no longer with God. God wanted to be with people, but the moment Adam and Eve sinned, humanity, people were no longer with God. 사람들이 죄를 지은 순간 하나님과 함께 있던 우리가 떨어졌어요. We're separated from God. That's what sin does. Sin likes to separate. Sin loves to separate and divide. So we were separated from God, but God still loved his people so much that he came to Noah, he came to Abraham, he came to David, he came to who else? Who else? Name them. Joseph, he came to Jacob, who else? He came to Elijah. God came to his prophet's people and said, I will send you a savior in your dynasty, in your family, Abraham, your descendants, I will give you a savior. I know we're separated right now, but I will send you a savior in your family to bring us back together. I want to be with you. I want to be with you. I want to be with you. So what did God do? God kept ga- giving promise to his people. It's called covenant. I will send you a son. I will send you my savior. I will send you a helper. I will send you a king, a prophet, a priest, my son, to come to this world as a baby boy and to live teaching you, showing you how much I love you. But you know what Jesus came to this world for? He came as a baby boy so that he shows us how much God loves us to the point that he would die for us on the cross. Brothers and sisters, Jesus died for us and he lived again. When the disciples saw Jesus lived again, they were more certain than ever. Jesus, I will do anything for you. When you become a king on, of Israel, when you become king of Rome, can I be next to you? That's what disciples wanted. But when Jesus died, they, kept, they hid from everyone because they realized maybe Jesus wasn't as powerful as I thought. But when Jesus resurrected again, he came to his disciples so that disciples know Jesus not, did not come here just to be one of the many kings in this world, but one true king who reigns over all of us. Now that the disciples saw Jesus' power, a man, a fully man, but fully God. Now Jesus, he is the true son of God and he is the true savior. Now, brothers and sisters, do you think disciples knew Jesus better after seeing him after the resurrection or not? When they saw Jesus after resurrection, they knew right now that Jesus is truly God. They might have thought that Jesus was good, he was great, but when they saw Jesus' resurrected body, they knew that Jesus is the son of God and Jesus is the king. Do you know that Jesus is your savior? Do you know that God loves you? I love my friend Song and I keep telling people about how funny she is, how she calls me poop and I, how I call her tong and all these things. I can tell other people because I know my friend and my, my friend knows me. Brothers and sisters, today is Christmas Eve and tomorrow is Christmas Day. This is the time we remember Jesus coming as a baby boy. But today, as we read the passage where Jesus spends last time with his disciples before he goes back to heaven, this is what Jesus tells his disciples. Let me read the Bible verse. And can we have a music in the background? This is what Jesus tells his disciples before he leaves his friends his best friends. Verse 18. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. I'm the one and true king. 
Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. When God created the world and created men and women, He created us humans because He wanted to be with us. But then there was sin. Sin separated us. God kept giving promise to His people. I will come back. I will send you a Savior. I will send you my Son to die for your sin so that sin that is separating you and me is there no more. I want to be with you. I am your father. You're my son. You're my daughter. I want to be your friend. I want to know you, and I want you to know me. If you remember how you started your friendship with your friends, it probably started a little bit awkward, right? You probably said, hi, my name is Victoria. Hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. But then... When I met Song for the first time, I said, Hi, Song, I'm Victoria. And Song said, Hi, Victoria, I am Song. But you know what it's like today? She calls me and says, Happy birthday, poop. And I say, Thank you, Tong. We're so close together that our friendship right now, we know each other so well. Do you know God? Do you know Jesus Christ, your Savior, as a friend? When he was born as a baby boy, brothers and sisters, he came because God wants to be with us. I'm sure you want to be with your friend, right? Chingurang, you want to be with your friend. If you have a friend, you always want to spend time with them. So brothers and sisters, today, our message for us is we must know God, but not only know God, know Jesus, but let others know about him. We have a mission. When Jesus, before Jesus left, he told his friends, Rachel, I'll be gone, but I want you to tell other people about you, about me, your friend, how much God loves them. Do you know that God loves you? Can you guys answer with yes or amen if I ask you this? Do you know that God loves you? Do you know that God is sometimes funny? Do you know that God wants to be with you all the time? Do you know that God is always caring for you? Do you know that God is your shepherd? Do you know that God is the light? Do you know that God is our friend? All right, this time I have a letter I wrote for Jesus because I want to thank him so much. And this will be how we close our prayer today. Can I read this to you guys? And this is a prayer I want us to pray as we pray to Jesus. Because he is our friend. He came to this world so that we can be with him forever. The, the letter goes like this. Dear Jesus, today we remember and celebrate your coming to this world. You came to us because of your great love. You came as a baby boy to show us how we should live and died on the cross for our sins. And you rose from the dead to invite us into God's family forever. Jesus, help us to know you more and to tell others about you. Thank you for coming to this world, Jesus. Happy birthday. In, in your name we pray, amen. Let's pray together. Would you close your eyes? Repeat after me, brothers and sisters. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to this world as a baby to live, to die, and to rise again, to be with us forever. Thank you for inviting us to be in your family forever and ever. Help us to know you more 
to grow closer to you and to tell others about you. Thank you for coming to this world, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Everybody, let's stand up at this time. And let's, let's reflect on this song together. Let's reflect on this song together once again. Because today is our special service, I would like to close with this song together. So let's close with this song. Here we go. Here we go. Let's clap our hands.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. Merry Christmas! It's time for announcement, announcement, announcement. Merry Christmas, guys! We have three newcomers today. 저, 오늘 처음 온 친구 세명 있는데요. 이름 부르면 무대 위로 올라와 주세요. Please come up to the stage when I call your name. Stella Hong, Minky Hong, and Jaehyuk, 올라와 주세요. Let's give a big round of applause. Welcome, welcome. 친구들, 한국에서 왔어요? <gasps> 진짜, 진짜? 와, 우리 한국말 잘하죠? Right? So, 처, 처음 오는 친구들한테 물어보는 <웃음> 질문이 있는데 물어보면 답해줄 수 있어요? Okay, okay. Are you guys ready? Ready, set, go! 들렸어요? 뭐라고 할지 모르겠대요. One more time. One, two, three, go. 제일 좋아하는 색깔. Guys, are you are you doing English or Korean? Okay, 영어로 물어볼게요. 영어로. One, two, three, go. What's your favorite color? 이해했어요? 들었어요? 제일 좋아하는 색깔이 뭐예요? What's your favorite color? Let's start with. What's your name? Mingi. Mingi, what, what grade are you in? Just a Fourth grade. Mingi is in fourth grade. What's your favorite color? So, 아무거나 괜찮나요? Red! Oh, I'm wearing red. Mingi likes red. Raise your hand. Me too. Okay, Stella is in first grade. What's your favorite color? 좋아하는 색깔이 뭐예요? Blue. Oh, she likes blue. Me too. Me too. 재혁이는 제일 좋아하는 색깔이 뭐예요? Green. Green. Who likes green? Oh, Elena teacher's wearing green. Say hi. Okay. So what grade are you in? 4학년. 3학년. 3학년 선생님 손 들어주세요. You'll be with Mingyu teacher. 4학년 선생님 손 들어주세요. You'll be with David teacher. 저기 따라가면 되고요. Stella, 1학년이니까 Eunice teacher 따라가면 돼요. Okay, you guys can go back to your seats. Let's give a big round of applause. Okay, okay. 자리로 돌아가세요. One, two, eyes on me. One, two, eyes on me. I have two special announcements. Oh, why am I going like that one? I have two special announcements. I heard we have hot cocoa today. <gasps> we prepared hot chocolate for you guys to have some cozy time with your small group. So it will be ready outside. Teachers, you'll take your group outside, grab hot cocoa, and then go to your small group, OK? We'll, we'll dismiss by grade, so make sure the younger kids get it first, and then older kids after. So fourth and fifth graders, you guys can either go after or come back. OK, one, two, eyes on me. Repeat after me. Tomorrow, 10 AM. Tomorrow morning. At 10, we have Christmas service in the main sanctuary. So make sure you come to church tomorrow at 10. We got some special skits, 
special performance prepared by all education department. And practice team, you'll be meeting here at 12.30, okay? Meet here with the Atlanta teacher at 12.30. And that's it for... Merry Christmas, everyone. All right, first graders, stand up. And you will go into your room first. Second graders, Kate teacher's class, come to the stage. Second graders, Kate teacher's class, come to the stage. And Lois teacher's class, you will be over there in the office. Third graders will be here. Fourth grade boys, fourth grade boys, You'll go with, uh, 잠깐만, Andres, are you with David teacher or UB teacher? David? Okay, you'll go with uh, Jaeyogi, okay? Yes. Okay, I'll give it to her. Okay, K teacher's class, you will meet me here, okay? Elena teacher, can you lead 